welcome to adapt and plus i received an email last night about how to answer from a quality question i got you test taking strategy this is going to be a series with just straightforward question i want to show you how to answer them flawlessly without a problem number one first question is on content you have to know your stuff but don't worry too much. Take the key things you know and then look at the, the concept of the question and see what they're asking you. They will give you some clue. First question, go with the ask of the question, right? Which diet? The question is about food. Choice, need immediate intervention. We got to intervene. Some diet choice is wrong and need to make immediate intervention. That is my ask of the question. What is the case? A nurse is caring for asthma patient receiving teofilin. Asthma receiving teofilin. That is what the case is about. I've analyzed the question and then I rewrite it on my own by paying attention. What the case is telling me, I have asked my patient, okay, it's receiving teofilin and it's on a diet that is inappropriate. That's all. Asthma and teofilin on a diet that is inappropriate, that I need to intervene. Then you bring your content. You said, what is teofilin? You don't have to boil down too much about it. Few things you need to know. Every time you see an asthma question and they give you teofilin, think about it. The four C's. So feeling is it's a xantine. Oh, it's one of the meta xantine. X A N T H I N E meta xantine. So there's four things you have to worry about. They don't like the four C's, right? Cipro, ciprofloxacin is an antibiotic. They don't like cementidine. You should avoid it. They don't like what? Caffeine. Coffee. And they don't like anything that affects the liver. So I put cirrhosis. So alcohol and other things. So a diet choice, the only thing that is a diet is what? Caffeine. You have to answer the question. Caffeine is also a form of what? Xantine. That's why you don't use it. In patient, they have effect all these four things as something to relate it to that. So if you taking teofilin, you should not take ciprofloxacin. It will make teofilin toxic. Cementidine, it will make it toxic. Caffeine will make it toxic. Cirrhosis, that drinking will make it toxic because that's the way it's getting broken down. And what is the biggest toxicity of this is seizures. So you watch for seizures. Therefore, I'll give you the answer. You know that, right? This is not a problem. I wrote this long one to distract you. We always know vitamin K, rich, great, grain, leafy vegetables. It has nothing to do with the question. Okay, this is not crumidine, right? And you got this is your caffeine. So that's your right answer. You see, pharmacology, content-based, testing strategy paying attention to key passwords. Same thing, I'm going through the same thing. And this question is designed to help you think critically and then analyze the question. The next note that the client is at what? Risk, that means bad complication of what problem? That is the, what is being asked. The risk of what? Okay, what is the case? The nurse is caring. A client with asthma is prescribed what systemic corticosteroid in pharmacology. They will give you the question, they will sometimes they will give you the medication, and you got to learn something about it, or they'll give you information about the, the medication. You got to identify the medication. I can rewrite this and say, patient is on asthma on systemic steroid. What side effect would I see? That's all. Asthma patient on steroids, what side effect would I see? That's all, I rewrite the question, make it different. 
in a smaller form. Then bring your content before you look at the answer. If I give you steroid, what is the content here? You're not going to make any more steroid. Our body likes to make steroid every day to do its thing, fight, control your blood pressure, run away from things. To maintain, we need a certain amount of steroid every day. If I give you steroid, think critically. You're not going to be making steroid anymore. So whatever is making the steroid, will stop making it. Who make the steroid is your adrenal gland. Adrenal gland who makes steroid. Therefore, if I give you steroids, you become adrenal insufficiency. Look at the answer choice. Renal, has steroid has anything to do with renal? No. Pulmonary complication. Think about it. An asthma patient, I give you steroid, your lung function is going to improve. Therefore, it's not going to be insufficient. That's the key strategy once again. Does steroid has anything to do with the pancreas? No. Adrenal insufficiency, right there. So it's either between two and four, but the two is a trap. If you have asthma, I give you steroid, you're not going to be insufficient. Your lung will function will improve. And therefore, it cannot be the right answer. But you have to bring the content Find the buzzwords as I've underlined them and help you identify the key concept of the question. And answering it will pop out like it can be, as always I say, right? And then number three, the last one, right? Key concept once again, the same topic. What should the next monitor and the line, the word say monitor, I have to pay attention to it. It's a select or apply. A 65 year old with what COPD password is prescribed. I did not give you the medication, but I describe it. Inhaled adrenergic bronchodilator. Rewrite the question, right? Those are the password, COPD, is taking what? Inhale, hydrogenic bronchodilator. What are you going to monitor? This is the way I take tests, you know? I just draw this arrow and see which direction it goes. COPD, taking inhale, hydrogenic what? bronchodilator. What should I monitor? You know it, but I was hiding the answer choice. You got to identify this. What is inhale? Medication we give to asthma patients, you have to inhale, is an adrenergic, adrenaline, magic, and it's a what? Bronchodilator. Most adrenal, you see the name adrenaline from adrenal gland. What is adrenal gland makes? It makes no epinephrine to epinephrine. Apart from the steroid, dopamine, these are what adrenergic um, and substances. What did they do? They are beta agonist. They are beta agonist. What does beta agonist do? When I give you adrenergic medication, no epinephrine, epinephrine, your heart rate goes up, right? You, you become tachycardic, your blood pressure goes up. It will stimulate glucose formation because you need it when you're stressed. There are stress hormones. Glucose goes up, heart rate goes up, tachycardia, your central nervous system goes up, everything goes up. Therefore, if I give you inhale adrenergic bronchodilator, which one do we know is using what COPD patient and it's an inhale adrenergic bronchodilator? It's not no epinephrine, epinephrine, but it look like them, it act like them. That is abodorol. All I'm saying is I'm giving you abodorol. What is the side effect? You're going to be tachycardic, 
it will stimulate your central nervous system. You have tremor and all those things, agitation, sweaty, palpitation, blood pressure goes up. You get excessive cardiac stimulation, your glucose goes up. So what should the next monitor? Central nervous system stimulation, excessive cardiac stimulation, and hyperglycemia, pharmacology 101. I hope you learned something from it, but it's the same thing. Start from the back of the question, find what you're being asked, then read the rest of the case, find the case study that the, the examiner wants you to pay attention to, then underline your buzzwords, rewrite the question, bring your content that you need, then look at the answer choice. The answer will pop up like a candy. Happy Thanksgiving, series one, done. You have a good day. All the best of luck. Bye-bye.